With the release date for the Final Fantasy VII Remake just around the corner, we finally have plenty of gameplay footage and information about what to expect from this semi-new installment in an old franchise. Hi, I'm The Color Theft, and here are 5 things you may not know about the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Number 1. Red 13. The context surrounding Red 13's introduction in the original game was controversial, and involved Hojo attempting to coax an explicit act between Aerith and Red 13. How they handle this introduction in the new game is yet to be seen, but many suspect that there will be huge changes to his story. It's also been speculated that everyone's favorite wolf dog may not even be in episode 1 at all, since he is introduced at the end of the Midgar section, which is when the episode is supposed to end. Number 2. Tifa's Redesign Fans have had mixed reactions to the redesign, with some praising the change and others reacting harshly. Of course it all stems from the fact that Tifa's chest size was reduced significantly compared to her PlayStation 1 counterpart. When questioned about the change, Square Enix reported that it was due to censorship from their ethics department on the developers. Naturally this has been the cause of quite a bit of controversy, but it looks like Tifa's design is staying just the way it is. Number 3. Sid's Behavior Ah, uh, Sid. As one of the obligatory characters in every installment of Final Fantasy, Sid's iteration in the original Final Fantasy VII is a far cry from any Sid preceding him. This time around, he may be swearing significantly less and may have finally kicked that nasty smoking habit. It's probably safe to assume that some elements of his character and backstory may be toned down due to further censorship from Square Enix ethics department. One person who may appreciate this the most is the NPC Shira. After forcing Sid to abort the launch of his rocket and effectively ending any chance he had of going into space, she became the butt end of his verbal abuse in the original game. Let's hope he's a bit nicer to her this time around. Number 4. Vincent and Yuffie Plenty of JRPGs feature secret characters for your roster who can add to the story or even just have cool movesets and attacks. This has become somewhat of a tradition within RPGs through the years, and Final Fantasy VII was no exception. While the two fan-favorite characters Yuffie and Vincent are rumored to be present, there has been speculation that they will now be necessary as team members in order to move the story forward. These characters are originally 100% optional and you can complete the whole game without them. Could this mean that they will need to tweak the story in order to make them mandatory? Guess we will have to wait to find out. Number 5. Barret is whitewashed? There's been a ton of criticism from fans upon release of Barret's character model claiming that his skin tone has been brightened and his speech is almost a caricature of what it should be. While some believe his skin was much darker in the original game, others seem to have been indifferent to the change. To me, I think this says a lot about the representation of minorities in video games, but that's a discussion for another video. Another thing is, when did he suddenly get sunglasses? Were they trying to go for a blade look? Sorry, but to me he just looks like the Black Duke Nukem. And there you have it. That was 5 things you may not know about the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Are you excited for the remake? Sound off in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can bring you more content like this. Thanks for watching!